Hey everybody, welcome back to Plugin Tut. Just wanted to make a quick video. I would really love a subscription to the channel. I'm trying to hit a thousand by the end of January. If you can make that happen, I would really appreciate it. I hope you enjoy WordPress tutorials like this one. I'll see you in the next video. Hey everybody, welcome back to Plugin Tut, your home for handcrafted WordPress plugin tutorials. And as always, I am your host, Matt. I don't have enough time to make a real in-depth video today, so I wanted to put this one together. This is a post that I just uh, recently published last night. And it's six tips before installing easy digital downloads. So if you're starting any store, in fact, but I, I sort of highlight easy digital downloads here, sort of the some of the planning phases you have to have uh, in place. If you are starting a digital download store, well, easy digital downloads is probably the de facto way to set up a digital download store on WordPress. Uh, if you come into the article, you can read, or excuse me, listen to one of my interviews that I've done uh, with a gentleman named Logan Nicholson who created Music for Makers, and he actually sells audio uh, files and clips through easy digital downloads on his membership site. That's a sort of a great lesson to see how he built his business and grew his audience, that kind of thing. Uh, 2017, I know a lot of people are sort of kicking into high gear for you know their New Year's resolution being launching that business, getting more income, growing a business, getting some side revenue in digital products, eBooks, memberships, uh, digital files, a great way to do that. Uh, but the first thing that you're gonna need, tip number one, is you're gonna need products, which is I know probably like, Obviously, I need products, Matt. No kidding. I'm going to start a digital store. I'm going to sell stuff. Well, the problem is that I see a lot of folks spend boatloads of time sort of building their site, getting all the technology stuff put together, like easy digital downloads, and spending all that time with a theme and some design, that kind of thing, but they don't focus on their actual product. They don't know if somebody's actually going to buy this product. So I recommend, I recommend this book, uh, called Hooked. It's a great way to learn how to build habit-forming products. Um, some high-level stuff in there, but it's going to make you under sort of help you understand uh, what goes into building a product. I'd say spend some time talking to some people, seeing if they're interested in your product. Go into some Facebook groups, ask on Twitter. Uh, even better, ask in real life uh, if you have friends and family uh, or a networking group that you can attend. See if um, they're interested in your product and get the product done first before you waste time building the store. Uh, number two, this is one that's sort of overlooked, especially from the beginner. If you're not, uh, if this is the first time you've ever built an e-commerce store or digital store, you need a payment processor. Easy digital downloads will use the standard PayPal account. The biggest problem with that is it takes the person off site. So it takes them from your website to paypal.com. And a lot of people get lost in that experience as, as easy as it is. Um, a lot of people think that they need a PayPal account to check out and to, and to buy your product. They don't, they can still use a credit card over there. But the idea is you wanna keep them on the site. It's a lot more professional. Uh, it, later on in the in in your uh, business growth and cycle, you can do some more sort of follow up marketing with them, capture lead uh, lead capturing and all that kind of stuff. You can measure your conversions a whole heck of a lot better if you're keeping them on the site. So the, what you want to do is you want to connect with something like Stripe. Uh, Stripe.com is probably the most popular for easy digital downloads, and there's a link right in there in this article to get that add on for you um, to to power your easy digital download site. Uh, number three is you need security, and this is all relative to you know where you are in your business building uh, venture. If you're just starting out, uh, you know picking a good web host is probably the best thing that you can do right now. And I'll talk about web hosts in a little bit. But if you're especially if you're using Stripe and you have a payment gateway uh, on your website, you need an SSL certificate. I do have a link in here for Namecheap. You can go there and buy one. It's like eight bucks for one. Sometimes you can buy one from your web host if that's easier for you. No problem. Do that then. Um, but you'll definitely need an SSL certificate. Uh, some uh, uh, web hosting companies are now using Let's Encrypt, which is a free SSL uh, certification. Not all web hosts. Some of the ones I do recommend below are, are using it. Uh, you won't have to buy one, but if you want one, especially if you want one that has the little green uh, logo, like if you go to your banking website, you can buy one that actually has your company name in the in the um, verification logo in the top of your browser. Those are a little bit more money, maybe a hundred bucks or so. Um, but if it, you know, if it's a big deal to the type of product that you're selling, then then those are available. Backups again, uh, depending on where you are in your business. Uh, in the beginning, your web host backup is fine, and maybe your web hosting backup is fine for forever. Uh, the idea here is though that you just don't want to rely on that web host and that backup. You want to have your own backups that you can pull down at any time. And Backup Buddy by iThemes does a great job of that. And in, in fact, it can even send it to your 
Dropbox account if you don't want to even have to download it. So if you want to make backups uh, on backups, which no one will ever get fired for, by the way, uh, the more backups, the better. Use something like Backup Buddy because if there is a catastrophe with your web host or there's an infection, a, a malicious virus that attacks your website and maybe the backups on your web host, having those backups offsite is definitely going to save you in the long run. Speaking of malicious attacks um, to your website and to your WordPress code and your potential customer database, uh, website security, you definitely want to take that uh, into consideration. This company, Sikori, uh, that I recommend here, they have active live site uh, monitoring for your e-commerce store or your WordPress website, whatever it is. This will actually continuously scan your site, make sure that there's nothing um, you know, wrong with it in terms of uh, a break-in or malicious code, that kind of thing. It'll even scan the traffic depending on what package you sign up with. It'll even scan the traffic coming into your site uh, and make sure that uh, the, you know, the the malicious attackers or the people trying to guess passwords can't get into your website uh, before they even reach it, which is pretty amazing stuff. Again, some web hosts will have some of this stuff uh, available to you, but it's always good to hire a professional company that just focuses on this type of security um, and not relying on your web host to do everything. Tip number five, right? Four, <laughs> uh, you need to spend a little bit of money. Uh, again, this is where it comes into play. Depending on where you're at in your business, uh, you can start with easy digital downloads for free and you can try to sell your products. And if it works for you, that's great. But eventually you'll spend a little bit of money to get that Stripe add-on. Uh, and then maybe eventually you want to get into collecting MailChimp um, emails as somebody checks out. The idea of this is you have to spend a little bit of money to make some money. Easy Digital Downloads puts you in a great position to do that because they have a boatload of add-ons that you can uh, get from them. Again, like I said, the Stripe add-on, the MailChimp add-on, marketing automation add-ons, um, you know, automated uh, automated email receipt add-ons, receipts that you can customize, all of that's there. And if you click on this link, um, the starter package, you can actually save 30% if you buy all of your add-ons at once when you're starting out your, uh, your online business. So definitely take advantage of that. Another one that I recommend here, which I recently did a video and a post on, is the Jilt app. This is 30 bucks a month, and this is cart recovery software. So if somebody comes to your cart, types in a product, or uh, goes to add in a product and goes to check out, but then they leave your website, they don't buy from you, the Jilt app will actually email them so long as they put their email in and follow up with them and say, hey, uh, you know, you forgot this in your cart. Do you want to come back and save 10%? That kind of thing. You can run all of that with Jill. It's not free. It's 30 bucks a month. And then they take 5% for anything over $1,000 uh, recovered. But 30 bucks to save, uh, to, uh, you know, recover $1,000 worth of sales is a pretty darn good bargain. You just have to pay a little bit of money for it. So don't be afraid to spend a little bit of money to get, uh, get the job done. Tip number five, you need solid hosting. Uh, this is a huge topic. It's one that's highly debated, that kind of thing. A lot of people just recommend hosting based on affiliate sales. These are affiliate links in my in my post, but my intent is to give you great web hosts that I've used for my own websites and for my own clients. And these are the three that I recommend. Sometimes people recommend like a dozen, and it's only because of affiliate sales. Um, these are the three that I recommend. Uh, SiteGround, number one, if you're looking for affordable shared hosting with great support. These are folks that you can get for like six to 10 bucks a month. Super affordable. Um, check out SiteGround uh, by clicking this link. Next up, if you want somebody that you can call up on the phone and have a uh, a professional development focused set of tools. WP Engine has been in the game for a while uh, and they have a great offering and they start out at 29 bucks a month. But check out WP Engine, well known in the WordPress space. And lastly, if you're running a big powerful e-commerce site or an enterprise grade uh, level of WordPress hosting, look no further than Pagely. Uh, Pagely puts out cutting edge technology and they have a team that really knows how to scale enterprise. This is like the cutting edge, super fast. You need a really fast uh, website, uh, plug and tut, Matt Rapport, Silicon Studio, they all run on Pagely. Um, I really trust them with super fast performance sites. Check out pagely.com. And last but not least, keep in mind that all of this stuff takes time to launch a site. I know a lot of people are charged up for 2017. They're really excited to get out there and launch their website and their new business. Spend some time researching, putting out a good product like I mentioned before, 
and spend more time marketing and promoting your site so that you can get those sales uh, and really grow your business. Again, if you're interested in another interview that I did, check out uh, my interview with Becca Rice. We talked about all that stuff in this episode. Go to this article, click this link, and you can tune in uh, to that Matt Report episode. It's PlugInTut.com. If you enjoy episodes like this, I really appreciate a thumbs up. Share it with friends and family. We're uh, almost 900 subscribers now, which is amazing because I'd really love to hit 1,000 by the end of uh, January. Um, I really thank you for your support. Really hope you enjoy these videos. Thanks, everybody.